Hello, my friends. We are back to work on our red panda using uh, all kinds of fun pastel things, pan pastels, pastel pencils, and pasta mat. So we're going to um, get started on the fur. So um, I think it's always a conundrum as to as to where I want to start if I kind of want to start here and work up and then work down or if I want to um, you know kind of work out but I I think the better thing would be to go ahead and kind of start here and work and work up um, we could do the ear first which may be maybe I should do because then I don't have to worry as much about messing stuff up on the forehead, but I'm anxious to get started on the fur, you know, on the, on the body fur. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Well, unfortunately, I think I do, I think I should do the ear first because, um, see how can I do this and be in frame for you the best let's try that oh yeah that works okay um let's see I'm gonna have to even go over that far uh, because we're gonna get that in and then the 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 hair on the head actually overlays on top of the um of the ear so I got myself all excited pulling out my my um Sorry about that. Pulling out my pans, and I think we're going to need to get that ear taken care of first. So, um, let us see what we've got here. I might. Yes. Okay. So I have my um, my my grays kind of all together, and I think I'm going to use a. Um, a lipstick applicator for the um, for the black that goes there in between the um, you know that right there. Um, so again, if you um, if you missed the first part of this for whatever reason, um, I'm going to um, suggest and, and hope that you will just go on over to Pixabay. Um, you can follow the link that's down in the description box and um, download, it's free, download <clears throat> this image um, for yourself so that at least while you're watching um, the videos, whether it be for just to sit back and learn or just to sit back and enjoy, um, or to actually color, uh, draw along, color along with me, um, you'll have that reference photo in front of you, whether it be on your phone or a tablet or something, some other device other than what you're watching me on, of course, because the piece that I'm working on is just too big for me to um, have it in frame and my um, my iPad in frame, and I can't print it um, the size that the painting is because it's just too big. So that's my my uh, my my comp not really it's not really a compromise. That's just my suggestion in hopes that that will work for you. Okay, so I am not sure. Um, I am not sure what to do here. I'm going to first just try and zoom in a little bit, if I can. We're not exactly square here, but I think it'll, um, it will help a little bit. Sorry about that. Shaky camera. Okay, so, um, I've not, you know, I'm almost, I'm almost inclined to experiment. Yes, I'm going to experiment. So I have this little um, cut off piece of the pastel mat and I'm going to put some of this um, gray down. It's, which one is this? This is um, 
neutral gray extra dark. I'm trying to get some other grays um, in the pastel mat, or not pastel mat, sorry, in the pan pastels. Um, and they all, my store always seems to be out of them. So hopefully I'll be getting, what do I want? Oh no, maybe I did get them. Payne's Gray. Um, I could do Payne's Gray, but I think the Payne's Gray in this, um, in these, again, is very, very blue. So never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I picked up a couple of extra grays, but I think these are the really our only choices. So, okay. Uh, back to what I was doing. You know what? I'm going to use a little bit of a little magnet to help hold that. Okay. So, the reason that I am doing this little experiment is because I want to make sure that I can get the grays to show up not grays, sorry, I'm a little discompobulated, to get my whites to show up well enough on top of that um, black. So I've got a couple of different whites here. I've got the, um, I've got the General's Charcoal White that I used last time. myself set up here because I don't want to mess up the work that I already did. Okay. Um, so that works. That works really well. I think that'll be good. Um, this is really cool. In case you haven't seen this and are unaware of it. Um, Krita Color makes um, white chalk lead and black chalk lead, um, basically pastels in in uh, without any wood casing. And um, you can also get lead holders for them. I just liked the the look of this of the wood one. Um, and so instead of having to sharpen the pencil and get rid of the wood um, casing, you just take your lead and, and, and put it in there and presto. And from what I understand, their um, white and their black are some of the most white and the most black um, lead that you can get. Lead isn't really the right term, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is really great for um, when you need to get heavy, um, bright white. Um, however, in this case, I think the feel of a thinner pencil is going to make me a little bit happier. And since this generals seem to work just fine, that is what we're going to do. So I'll start by putting um, this... <laughs> Again, neutral gray, extra dark um, in here. I don't think we need black. And I want to be, when you use these um, applicators, um, it does seem like the pastel um, falls off a little bit more um, than when I put them on a, a typical um, soft tool from the pan pastels. However, um, when I'm working in small areas, I'd rather save the soft tools for... When I'm working in small areas, these seem more economical to me, so I'm not wasting the soft tool. That's what I meant to say. That'll be okay. Mm. And maybe just 
for the heck of it, I will put a little bit of black not over the whole thing just okay and then we want our white to show up so we need to put something underneath the white in here because I don't think I want the gray of the pastel mat to show. So I'm going to use a little bit of maybe these two, these are like ne the neutral, neutral gray and neutral gray extra dark. I guess there's two versions of neutral gray extra dark. Two different colors. One is darker than the other. Um, I feel like I didn't get my sponge all the way down on this tool, so I'm just going to squish it down there a little bit more. Okay, and then I think I want... I don't know if this is even going to, I don't know if the white is going to show up on top of this or not. It's not very dark. Um, this is raw umber tint. I really like the raw umber tint, but I'm not crazy about the raw umber. It seems a little dark, but maybe I'll just try it a little bit. Once we put the white over the top, I think it'll be actually okay now that I'm kind of doing it. Kind of mixing those two so that it's not too dark. some of that in here. Not sure that this was the best tool to use. And actually this area here on the um, reference photo is quite bright and bluey. So let's try some um, this is Payne's Gray Tint that feel all right? It's really um, quite interesting. You'd think that the um, that the ear is white and when I really look at it closely it is not white. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of dark in it. Um, so I need to be cautious of that and not go too and not just use white straight across the board on the on the ear or else I think I will be unhappy. Okay, let's get these out of the way. All right, now let's go to, let's pull out some pencils. I'm gonna pull out um, Carbothello Warm Gray. And maybe I'll do a little bit of sanding on that. That's um, number 700. I am. Um, I went through and did some research on all of the um, pencils that just have numbers and no names, and I got the actual names for them because I I can't remember numbers, but I can. I can. My brain can can think in terms of um, 
of names. So it was really important for me to have that, um, to have names on, on these things. Okay, I'm also going to um, pull out the um, Pitt Pastel 270, which is warm gray, and the Derwent um, P490, which is pale olive. Um, and this is a great color. It's kind of, they call it pale olive, but to me it's, come, it's kind of like a light khaki color. Um, so it's really good for doing fur and stuff. All right, I'm going to use these um, before I even bring in the white. And we'll see how that goes. So, let's start with the pit warm gray one. I don't even know. I might, I might even need to go darker. What else do we got? Warm gray one. I really need kind of like a Raw umber is too, feels like it's going to be too dark. Okay, sometimes this is hard. Um, Geoconda does a flash. Oh, that can't possibly be right. <laughs> It's not going to work. That's going to be way, I think that'll be way too pink. Oh. You know what? It may not be too pink. I'm going um, to use some of this Geoconda flesh, which is, what number is this? Um, I have no idea what number this is. It's all rubbed off and I'm so, so if you have geocondas, you know, it's kind of a, it's a fleshy color. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, but I'm gonna start there. And This is just kind of going to be a matter of doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this is uh, going to be the best way to go. And we'll just keep building. So, um, I know this is terrible lighting. It appears that, you know, the, the color that's right closest to the inside of the ear is a little peachier, topier. This is a little greeny, topy color. So the brightest color is on the outer edge. So this may turn out to be a really good color choice. So as I do this, I am... <laughs> dropping my pencil. As I'm doing this, I'm twisting the pencil. And um, that helps to, um, one, keep the, the point a little bit sharper, but it also helps to keep the, um, the randomness of the stroke much more natural so that it's not just straight, 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 straight. I'm, I'm letting the, the curve of my stroke um, be much more, that sounds so pretentious, much more organic um, so that it's not just straight. It's kind of, I'm letting the pencil kind of <laughs> do the work for me by twisting it. This is going to be a lot of, st of strokes to get this hair. I, you know, you don't think about, you see a cute picture and you think, oh my God, this is going to be so much fun. 
<laughs> and I have a feeling I'm going to be making strokes until I'm <sighs> till I'm old. So you want to still kind of want to go in the direction of the fur as best you can. And I don't know how much of this I should use, so I'll just experiment for a little bit. Um, I do want that to kind of come in though. Okay, let's try some of this olive, uh, this pale olive. I taped my lead into the pencil because it broke <laughs> and I didn't want to um, lose what pencil was there. So we're gonna work with it until we can't work with it any longer. I think this was a good color right here. Actually, this almost goes all the way out to the edge with the... I hope that turns out to be dark enough. Hey, do I have enough dark? Let's see, what other color did I pull out? I pulled out this warm gray one, which I may not, I may not need a lot of, because that peach actually turned out flesh, that flesh color turned out to be a good color. I do think that that's the case. Let me just add a little bit more right around the, Now, the question is, do I want to soften this a little bit before I add? I think I do. So, um, I'm debating on using one of these again. These work pretty well, but they sometimes they feel like they are pulling too much color, so maybe not that. Maybe just a stump. I have a gazillion stumps. Okay, let's try. Let's try this one. So, um, you know, maybe I just use my fingers instead. Okay, I. I like that. I think I'm going to come in again. Just for a few of these and a little bit more of this pale olive. Although that almost doesn't even look like, um, it almost doesn't even look dark enough. But I'm afraid if I use any other green, it's going to look too green. So we're going to just stick with this. Let's we'll see what the white looks like on top. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, let's try a white. Let's see what happens. So this is that charcoal white. Definitely going to take a lot of strokes. I don't really want to um, fill it in solid. I want it to look I want it 
to look strokey. <laughs> But I'm thinking that I may have to, I may have to put some, but see, I did, I did put some color down. All right, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not, I don't want to get, I'm not going to get impatient. I'm going to do it the way I thought that it should be done. And But I'm not liking... I'm not liking the, the marks that it's making. Um, I don't I don't like the way that looks. So let's just do a little test. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, let me try a different um, a different white. Try my Carbothello white, which is one of my favorites. And actually come in here a little bit. The Carbothello. So nice and soft that it feels like it fills that in a lot better. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to use the Carbothello white. I am very thankful that the Carbothellos are available open stock. I get mine at Dick Blick. Actually, I can get them in a couple of different art supply stores here in town. Okay, so this all looks pretty fuzzy, um, fluffy and fuzzy, like it doesn't, we don't need to see strokes, we just need the fluff, so that's good. And after we get this in, I can come in with a pencil that shows up um, even better, whether that be a pencil or a um, pastel stick, and brighten up the white even more if I want to. like I'm in too close so I'm going to zoom out a little bit now oh, I still don't feel like I'm in the right place um, all right bear with me while I try and move this camera over guys to be getting the best view <laughs> that you can get. I normally would not be doing this with the camera still rolling, but okay, I think that'll be better. I was feeling like I was, um, my hand was all that you could see, and that is not a good thing.
Okay, so every once in a while, I'm gonna pull my pencil down um, and, and just run it on my, um, uh, what's it called? The cloth that I'm using, a microfiber cloth, um, just to make sure that I'm keeping it clean and not um, getting any of these other colors like the greens, you know, I don't want to pull the green of the background onto the ear. feels like I'm not going to get this upper, this outer edge here any whiter with this pencil. Um, to try and make sure that this looks really soft and fluffy. Right now it looks a little bit hard. Um, let's try a... go back to this gen this uh, general's one and see what that does So it's quite bright white. I'm almost wondering. I mean, it's good because when I'm looking at the ear up close, the ear definitely is not, um, it's not white. So I'm, I'm good with the colors, um, but there's some, oh, that's not what I want. There are some, um, there's some areas where I still kind of want it to be whiter. So this is the Prismacolor New Pastel. And um, they're super, I mean, they're super soft, but they're they are not like a, they're harder than a, an actual, uh, uh, an actual pastel stick. Um, but I think you can see how much whiter that just got. And um, even when I kind of go to blend, it still stays, it still stays put. So that's good. All right, let's get a little bit more white. Actually, I don't want all those strokes to show. It should be soft and fluffy and it's, it's a little too, defined. The strokes are a little too defined. So we're just gonna soften it up a little bit. 
soften that down a little bit. Okay, um, I want to pull some gray. Just in here. God, I wish there was a way to put the reference photo on here. Okay, let's, um, am I ready? I don't know if I'm ready yet or not. I don't think I'm ready yet. I kind of want to do the, the, the hairs in front of the black part of the ear, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. almost like there's a fine line between not seeing any tech you know any fur lines because <laughs> you want it to just look really fluffy and um, too many or, is that what I meant to say yeah <laughs> okay all right we're gonna is it white enough quite dark right here so I think I think it's white enough okay so I'm gonna hold the pencil way back as far as I can because I want these lines to be really fine and really kind of squiggly um, so away we go there is a lot of hair. So I don't think I can do too much of this. A lot of it here going this way. I'm trying something guys, hang on. <laughs> Trying. I'm trying to hook you up. Hang on. <laughs> Boy, it sure looks like my ear is not big enough, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, time to break out the uh, divider again. Holy moly. I hate it when that happens. All right, well, we're okay. We just need to add some more white over here. Um, but I'm doing, I'm doing okay. So, um, but, <laughs> but then when I do it this way, my arm is gonna be like covering the picture. All right, I'll hold it up. I'm trying, I'm trying to hook you up here. Oops. <laughs> Seriously, who's laughing at me right now? Okay, oh my god, stop. Um, yeah, this was the pencil that doesn't like to uh, play nice as the first layer. This one's better, this is the Carbothello. All right, let's keep going with that, with this ear here. Um, this 
So I'm noticing some of these these hairs look really nice and kind of curly, kind of wiggly. Um, so I'm wondering if I drag, how do I get those really curly? It's because of the angle. If I was at a different angle, I'd be able to do it. Hair. Lots of it coming from even the center. I got to kind of keep st stopping and kind of sitting back and looking. ear still doesn't look right to me. I'm afraid. Yes. See, I knew I was supposed to be afraid. Dang it. Okay, so this happens to me sometimes when I do my background and I and I lay over the background and then I um forget how far I went over the what am I trying to say? I put my pan pastels on to the um, page, but instead of going far enough over, I stopped. So the ear's not long enough. So my ear needs to come all the way out to there. Yay. <laughs> not. All right, it's okay. We can make it work. Just keep remembering to clean off the, get the shape right. Well, does that mean I didn't get the black up high enough? Yep, that's what that means. Here a little bit more. We might be adding some black. Fooey. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah, I have to add more black now. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with a pencil. Let me sharpen it up a little bit. So it's nice and nice and pointy. I'll do that without making you stick around for that. Okay, I also think I need some gray, not just black. Oh, I'm so bummed. I hate it when that happens. Really, really and truly I hate it. Because it feels like I will never get it to look right. Black. Well, I'm just going to have to go over it all and hope that it... I should have that pr 
proportional divider just uh, hanging around my neck or something because really I need to be using it all the time just for this exact reason. better. Okay. So, I am going to blend this. I'm going to just kind of tap it because I want it to stay when I go to put the white. So, for some reason now, I feel like I want just a few of these darker lines, and then we'll go over that too. Okay, let's try this again. I'm a little worried about... making it look right now. You can do it, you can do it. So the harder you press, the thicker your line is going to be. So you want to make sure, because I'm starting to feel like I was pressing too hard because I was worried, but then when you press hard, you get thicker lines, which you don't necessarily want. Um, although, there is this area that's dark, and there's this area that's dark, so... Maybe somebody was looking out for me. Maybe that'll be okay. Let's keep going with the hair. And I think I want to... have some skinny little white hairlines on the ear itself outer part of the ear itself. Okay, I've got to do something about this because that just kind of looks green to me. Um, because of the background, the, the, um, the pencil did just what I didn't want it to do. I'm going to take this away now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should see my table. It's all like, I got, I got cords everywhere. I've got all kinds of st st <laughs> in my way. <sighs> okay, and we can't forget this part either. That's definitely helping. I really should use these sticks more often. It seems like the only ones I ever, the only one I ever use is the white. Um, I have several different colors. All right, let's see, how are we going to Soften this fluff without turning it green again. I 
guess that's okay. This works pretty well to blend that right into the Okay, I think that's all right. Let's get ourselves some And one ear is only going to wind up taking us an hour and a half. <laughs> okay, with a little bit more white. using the pencil to blend and soften. That works out pretty well. Okay, I feel good. Let's do a few more. Pressing a little harder now. A little softer, soft pressure, skinny lines, hard pressure, thicker lines. down far enough so that the uh, the red hair covers it well okay let's get this this one done um, I'm debating on throwing down what do I want to do I'll use the I'll use the geo uh, the Carbothello white. Plenty far, plenty far off of the, off and on top of that background, way out there, yes, we're doing good, okay. Because I'm looking and I didn't go quite green in there. I want to make sure I do cover up my pencil um, lines there. So Okay, blend that. Do it again. So when you 
when you put your first down and you blend and it softens and and all your strokes kind of go away um, and then you put another layer on top that just adds to that depth. Okay, that needs to be bright. So we're going to bring the um, new Prismacolor New Pastel. I may um, wind up, just so you guys know ahead of time, I may wind up doing some speed coloring um, through the uh, through the head because it's kind of all the same. Um, it's going to be all the same technique. Um, and otherwise, I have a feeling that this um, drawing is going to take many, many, many hours. <laughs> So um, I will probably do some speeding up of the video for parts of it because otherwise we'll have 12 hours worth of YouTube videos. Nobody needs that. gone too far on that. <sighs> A little bit too far. Not terrible. A little bit too far right there. Let's see if I can pull that out. I got a little carried away. I think that'll be fine. In fact, we could probably take like uh, maybe a million grams. That might not be the right color. Olive green 160. Well, that's what I pulled out. Uh, we could probably take and put a little bit of green in there. And we'll even do some of that bright. I still feel like that is a little bit too, um, too much. It's, you can see the pastel mat too much. You can see the texture too much. Let's just see if we can. Uh, probably not. Oh, then have I been out? <laughs> I have. Jeez Louise, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I, I, I went too far down um, with this little bit of fur here. <laughs> I erased the area that I had gone too far on. And um, then I took my green pencil and I just came in there and and filled in the background area where I felt like I had gotten um, I had erased or whatever you know like I need more background area I'm 
You would think with the camera being right in front of me that I would notice when I was out of frame. You would think. Um, it's one of the downfalls of working on such a big piece. So I just... Just have to find that right place for the camera. And right now, it's really close. Um, I pull out now. Looks like it might be easier for me to move my picture around than move my camera around. Okay, I think we're almost done with the ear. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's been like the whole hour and a half already. It's crazy. Um, but I feel pretty, pretty good about it. Um, the red is going to come up in here and it's going to come over here. So that's going to give us our shape. There's the ear. I know it changes color on you when I put this thing in front and it still looks too small. When I look at it side by side like that, the ear still looks too small. Go figure. But when I measure it, it's pretty darn close. I mean, I might be off by a teensy little bit, but I don't, it's, I don't think it's enough to worry about. Again, it's just one of those weird Optical illusions, yeah, that, that the height is good. The width is good. So it must have been it's just an optical illusion. All right, so I think that I'm done with the ear. Um, I can always add more you know, little details or whatever, if I feel like I need it afterwards. Um, I'm gonna check the time on the clock because I don't know if you guys wanna watch me do an ear again. Um, the other ear is shaped a little bit different, but it's gonna be the same um, concept. So what I might then do is, um, depending on how much time I have left on the for this video, I might do this ear and just speed um, speed th through it. So I will be back in just a flash. Okay, so I do have a little bit of time, so I am gonna go ahead and do that ear um, just so that it's fresh in my mind what I did on the first one. I don't have to struggle with it um, too much. And, um, but I, I will probably um, speed through it. Um, sorry, I'm getting, st <laughs> I'm getting stuff. I'll probably speed through a lot of it um, just so that it does, that this video is not, you know, two and a half hours long, three hours long. Um, let's see. So I used... I believe I used a mixture of the... Um, raw umber and the raw umber tint so we'll get that on here especially maybe just straight maybe the straight raw umber in here and then with some tint. Pulling that out. Yeah, looks like there should be a little bit in here. And then the rest of it is pretty, it's pretty white, maybe gray. We did that before, right? 
so the Payne's Gray tint. I don't know, I don't think it needs much of that because I think that the, I think the uh, romper tint is better. We want this a little bit darker so that the white shows up. This is all white, but it's qu it's quite white. So again, I will stick there, and then I used what did I use that um, that flesh geoconda. Let's do that in here. This is really really soft, like. Um, you can't even see um, brush strokes for this area here. So we'll do that. Not brush strokes, pencil strokes. <laughs> pencil strokes. All right, and then this, we did a pretty good job there. Um, I might be able to for this one, um, even though it's going to change the color slightly. Okay. I might be able to get this. I want it taller. in my Carvathello white though and again I'm super bummed I can't just throw it in the pencil sharpener <laughs> surprisingly enough I haven't cut myself doing it this way which is really surprising because I am notorious for cutting myself with a knife. Okay, so once you get the, um, the casing kind of shaved away, then it's just me finding my sandpaper, then it's just um, rolling it and sharpening it on the sandpaper which we don't have to go too sharp because we're, and this is my, my sandpaper. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, um, I need another piece of glass here. Right here. I will, um, probably just do this and um, speed through it, and then I will turn the camera back to regular when it comes time to do that little um, purpley red bit, because, uh, yeah, because that'll be fun, and I have no idea what colors to use on that yet. <laughs>
Okay, so this one didn't take nearly as long <laughs> as the first one did. But I need to take this away so that I can see the other ear. Um, and actually, let me pull up the... So, this ear is actually quite a bit brighter than this ear in the reference photo. Um, so that's good because it's definitely, it's definitely brighter in my drawing too. Um, sure everything kind of stays put. Um, that actually feels pretty good. I was going to think about pulling out the uh, uh, that other pencil that I have. What's that called? The um, <laughs> this one, the Krita color. Uh, but I don't uh, I don't think I need it. I think it has a nice soft fluffy, fuzzy feel, so I'm feeling okay about that. Um, yeah, and in the reference photo, now that I look at it, this ear is definitely um, turned more um, away from the camera and looks smaller than this one does, so we're doing okay. <laughs> so, all right, um, colors for the top of the ear. It is so pretty, and one of the things that attracted me to this particular photo and this um, this animal is the purples and reds um, and oranges, obviously, the terracotta colors, uh, purple and terracotta and kind of pink and just really beautiful, fun colors. So let us see. Actually, gonna pull these out of here, uh, even though they'll be kind of shiny because they're um, they're under plastic. Um, all right, so <laughs> it's really frustrating to not be able to have all of this on camera to be able to show you. You're probably as frustrated as I am, but I did not anticipate um, thinking about how big this would be. So you can see um, these really nice um, purple and, and rich, deep reds in that photo. So I'm thinking like um, Caput Mortem Red, which is 49 in my 49 in my thing, um, Carbothello 645. And then I want a, oh, well, yeah, Caput Mortem Violet. Pretty much all the, <laughs> pretty much all the Caput Mortems. Um, Burt Carmine is nice. That's even a little bit purplier. That is um, a Derwent color. So let us find my little test thingy here. <laughs> I have so much on my desk. It's just stupid. Okay, so this is the Caput Mortem Red, which might not be bad. This is the um, Burnt Carmine in the Derwent. I I am almost thinking that that one, um, okay, well, I definitely like that one. And something a little bit even bluer. Um, maybe that one and then some Payne's Gray mixed in with it. Um, Carbothello Payne's Gray. I'm thinking that might be the might might be it right there. Okay, so let me sharpen this one because it's kind of 
dull, and I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna give this a go. I'm wondering if I should have some kind of a terracotta color though, just in case. I don't, I, I don't know. We'll try these and we'll see what happens. So again, this looks so weird and out of, but it's, it's spot on, so. All right, I'm gonna put some of this um, burnt carmine in here. It almost feels too dark. Um, it almost feels too dark. Ooh, okay, well, if the burnt carmine is too dark, maybe just plain old Caput Martin. What's this one? Let's see what this looks like. This is the pit Caput Mortem, which is pretty much the same. Here, it kind of looks the same. You know what, we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna use it, and actually, I'll go back to this carmine. Um, can you tell the difference? Can you hear the difference? This is the pit. And that's the Derwent. The difference that you're hearing is the, um, the softness and hardness of the pencil. The pits are just um, quite a bit harder. And so you're hearing this is louder and fluffier sounding because the pencils are softer. Okay, so even if this is our, our base color and then we put lighter colors on top, that will work out just fine. So I'm gonna blend that in. And it got a lot lighter, didn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, I want this to look right too, though. And I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure how to do that. So I'm just gonna. I think it'll be okay. I might throw some of that um, Caput Mortem red that I thought was gonna be too red, but I actually like it um, in here as well. A little bit of that. And then we have our Payne's Gray, which actually is practically a purpley blue. I'm coming back to you. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Something about what I just did is way wrong. What did I do? I made it way too deep instead of scooping it out. That's what I did. Yep. Okay. That is fixable. I'm just going to take my putty eraser. I'm just gonna tap this in here just a little bit to get as much of that loose stuff off as I can. And then I think I already have enough color still on my sponge. Presto. Yay! I love it when a plan comes together. 
Okay, now, how do I get this to look nice and fluffy? I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to try it. So, I've got my white. I'm going to use the white on the very edge. Soften that. And actually, um, that looks pretty good. Um, I darken this a little bit. Once the, um, the terracotta -y colors come in over the top of this, I think that will add to the look that we're after. Let's see if I can blend this a little bit. I think that's okay. Um, it's still something doesn't quite look right, and I think it's just the um, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. It looks. It looks right. It could be a teensy bit. I may just use some of that terracotta color in here when that time comes. Or now. <laughs> uh, what color am I going to use for that? I don't know. English red. I just grabbed one just to see. That might That might work. Okay, um, I want a little bit of pink in here. It feels like it needs some pink. Now the problem that I have with pinks, at least the pinks that I currently have, is that they're so bad about being light fast. Um, I'm gonna use beige red, I think. Um, I have some pinks coming from um, Karen Dash that are light fast. See, even that still isn't quite pink enough, but I'm afraid to go too pink because I, I don't want it to be pink. But, my, you know, it's mine. I'm going to I'm going to use, because this is mine, <laughs> and I'm not doing it on a commission, I have this Derwent pale pink that I, um, that I got before I realized how, um, before I realized that it wasn't light fast. Um, I think it'll be okay. No, if it's not, if that color fades out on me, well, my bad. <laughs> then it'll be my fault. Um, I would not do that if I was working on a commission for somebody, but because it's mine and I didn't have the one I wanted. 
Okay, so that's a little bit better. Got a little bit, a little bit more pinky in there and not as much of the taupey color, which, um, what did I use for that taupey color? It was like a green on the other one, right? Derwent, Derwent. Look for the one that has tape on it. It's here somewhere. There we go. I think I want a little bit more of that in here. That's better. Okay, good. Alrighty, um, <laughs> I know that that was not the most thrilling um, of things to watch me do. Um, I'm kind of bummed that we only got two ears done. But um, yeah, like I said, I have a feeling that this one's going to take a little bit longer than... Um, a little bit longer than some of the other ones but it is quite a bit larger, so that would make sense. All right, guys, I promise on the next one, um, we will start, uh, see, you gotta be careful. I did that to my own self because I was not careful. Um, we'll get started on, the, on the, um, the rest of the fur, but like I said, I do think that I'll probably do some speeding through it because um, God knows you don't need to watch um, a three-hour video of me doing that kind of fur. So um, I will call it um, call it quits for for now, and um, we will be back at it again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Love ya. Bye. Oh, hey, leave me a comment. <laughs> it really helps the, uh, the it really helps the videos get scene. So um, please don't be mean. Always be nice, but just drop me a comment and say hi and let me know how you're enjoying the videos. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye.